So there was a real fear of what would happen if there was a nuclear arms race. And um, the tragedy is that we've now sort of gotten used to it and we have a half a dozen nuclear states and the only way that we're going to be able to move on this is to have mass movements of the people to give support to the treaty because the governments are not going to, to the, the nuclear powers are not going to take the lead on this. In 1945, when the Second World War ended, there was such universal regret and horror at what we had done to ourselves, the tens of millions of people who had died. And then on top of that, the unleashing of the nuclear weapon at Hiroshima and Nagasaki meant that no nation, not a single nation, would have opposed a powerful move to outlaw war and to outlaw nuclear weapons. I think even our own government was willing to make some kind of agreement uh, to put the weapon under international control. What a tragedy, we now have several nuclear powers and none of them are playing the lead in bringing this to an end. And I think the only hope we have is the kind of mass movement of citizens from Japan, from Europe, from Russia, from China, from here, that will force the governments to move in the direction of ending the possession of nuclear weapons. I think it's hard for us now to realize that in 1945, when the war ended, there was such an enormous sense of horror at what had happened, the tens of millions of people who had died, and the advent of nuclear weapons at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that there was a huge human drive to put an end to war and to make sure that nuclear weapons would not be used. That's faded somehow. We've almost gotten used to having the nuclear weapons and forgotten that they will destroy us. The only hope we have of this treaty succeeding is a citizens movement in every country that will help to bring that treaty into force.